one of the universal patterns that can be observed in human life is a pattern of wanting to be in control. Losing control, not having control, is one of the deepest fears that ego has. By ego, I mean the assumed I entity that supposedly owns a piece of life and is in charge of running it, like a general manager of this body-mind organism. It goes by the names of me, I, myself. Fear of losing control stems from assuming that there is a controller, that you are the controller. It appears and it is believed that I am in charge and my job is to manage what happens in a way that serves me best. It seems that I am micromanaging what is happening and without trying to succeed putting effort into achieving desired outcomes, everything would collapse. Nothing would get done. The idea of losing control is as scary as the idea of death. But what are you in control of? In experience, perception is happening with and without a belief in a separate entity me. Raw experience like seeing, hearing and other sensations are happening on their own and cannot be switched on and off. The narrative about it can be here or not, what it already is. Look around right now. Are you controlling what colors, sounds, sensations are here? Are you making sensations happen? Why are you noticing what is here already showing up? Are colors and sounds yours? Are colors and sounds you? Are you the owner of body sensations? Are you in charge of thoughts? Do you choose what thought comes next? Do you know what impulse, intention shows up before it does? I use this example often of being on a roller coaster ride. Imagine you are sitting in the first car and holding onto the wheel. No matter where you turn the wheel, the ride is already set and the car will follow the rails. It is safe to take hands off the toy wheel and enjoy the ride without imagining that you are the driver. By taking hands off a toy wheel, you cannot lose control that you never had. There never was an option to be a controller. Things happen or not. Reactions happen or not. Life flows as all kinds of experience and claiming ownership and credit happens too. The narrative about me in control is something that appears along on top of what is already happening. Would you say that you control the weather? Do you ever think that weather is mine, I'm in charge? You can imagine that you do. And every time it rains, you can claim that, I did that, I made the rainbows appear. And it does not matter if you imagine that you are in charge of weather or not. Sometimes it rains, sometimes there is a storm, sometimes there is sunshine. Claiming control over the weather seems ridiculous, as it is obvious that I'm not in charge of what happens in the sky. The weather is not mine, nor me. It is free-flowing, hands-off completely. You can make an observation that when all conditions are right for the rain, it simply rains. No one is in charge. No one is deciding where, how much and when to rain. It is a natural movement of the whole. Looking at this body and mind, it is not obvious that all is happening by itself until you look, it seems that I own this body, I am in charge, I decide and make things happen. But when you look, it's clear and simple. All life is happening by itself. Life is self-happening. And that includes everything. Sounds, colors, stories, reactions, fear, wanting, worrying, living a life of a human. is happening. 
And that's what life of a human looks like. It is messy, it is painful, it is beautiful, all in between. It is a free flow of events, moment by moment, including the narrative about me, the one in charge. We are born into this system of thought, into this worldview, that we are separate individual units that have a free will and we make choices independently of the whole. It seems I can choose red or blue, and when the choice is made is claimed as mine. I chose this. I'm in charge. And so it seems that there is a chooser, the one that made the choice. But can you choose differently? Can you not make a choice where a choice is imminent? Could you ever do anything differently than what is happening? How about now? It seems that something could have been chosen differently, but only in theory, only looking at life through the glasses of a controller that can decide what happens next. We took ourselves to be the controller and we want to control, to be the best, to have the best experience, to fix what is not working for me. And there seems to be a lot to fix. And even that is happening by itself. The assumed identity of being a controller of life displays us all kinds of selfish patterns showing up as self-serving, self-absorbed behavior where I, myself, am the center of the universe. Life revolves around me and I make things happen. And it is a beautiful idea when all is going well, but when you are not getting what you want and at the same time you think that you are making it happen, there is a conflict. How to see through the controller? The controller is imagined. And there is nothing to lose if you stop believing that it is real. The fear of losing something that was never ours is irrational. You can try to understand this, but it's not about understanding. You just look. If what I'm pointing to is true or not. If there is a controller, nothing would happen to it because what is real stays real. It is only what is unreal believed to be real is no longer believed to be so. Right here, right now. What are you making happen? And what can you change? What is in your power to adjust? You can say, I move my body. And I can say the body moved. Was it you that moved it or is it effortless? Does the body move by itself? Or do you need to tell it to move? Can you command or ask nicely your body to be in perfect health or eat certain foods or release all toxins? Does it listen? If I have a dog and give it commands, it learns to listen and do what it's told. Is it similar in how you control the body, the mind, the heart? In other words, do you control sensations, perceiving? Thinking, feeling emotions. Do you control what sensations, emotions happen now? Losing control is scary. What will happen to me if I no longer feel in charge of my life? What others will think of me? I have to make sure that I am accepted. I have to make sure I behave appropriately and I have to be in control of how to express emotions and which emotions can be expressed. I have to protect myself from future dangers. These ideas show up as stiffness, tightness, hardness and suffering. The self-centered mind focused on being in charge is thinking that it knows the best. But life does not need us to tell us what we need. It is not asking for our opinions, acceptance or rejection. Life provides us with lessons, people and situations without asking for it. 
asking for it can happen to you as a simultaneous arising. But asking is not the cause. The control is not the cause. It's an outcome. It comes with a story about me in charge after the experience happens. Conscious mind taking credit for whatever shows up is like seeing the tip of the iceberg and thinking there is nothing underneath it. What is here already is. What will happen, we'll see when it happens. There is something to find when the idea of a controller gets seen through. There is a sense of freshness, joy of exploration and freedom. One can notice mystery and synchronicity. There are openness and trust of life. There is a wonder. There is a sense of walking on edge of now, not knowing what happens next and being honest about it and being okay about it. To be at peace requires only surrender. By giving up ideas of the control in charge. Peace is already here underneath all opinion stories, underneath the desire to be in charge and in control. Bruce Lee told us, be like water. I see that as a stop fighting what is, release the idea of a controller, soften, be flexible. And notice the flow that is here, already free. And welcome that. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.